Now, once you understand how you can categorize your post, let's take a look at how you can make this footer of this website. Inside this footer, we're going to have subscribe newsletter section. I'm going to have this background image and some copyright information. So let me show you how you can create the footer for this website. When I scroll down, here is my footer. So as you know, you don't have to create a new file for the footer because we already have the footer file inside these components. Let me open that. Here we have the footer. Let me just get it out of this div and instead of div, we pass here footer, the component name. And inside this, let me first specify some classes to this footer. So we first specify BG gray 50 to this footer. And then inside this footer right here, I'm going to create a div, specify some classes to it. So we pass container, MX auto, then flex, justify center. And at the end, we pass padding Y 12. Inside this div right here, I'm going to add a div again and specify class padding Y 5. So this will just add space between this division tag. Just after that, I'm going to add here flex box. So I'm going to say here flex and inside this flex, I'm going to have my icons. So let me first specify classes to it. Gap is going to be six. I justify center to center all the icons. And inside this div, I'm going to have my icons. When you scroll up, you can notice I'm going to have this icon code. Let me just copy this code and paste that right down here. So I'm going to back to the header. Let me just copy this link components right from here. And I'm going to paste that in the footer right inside this div. And as you know, we need to import these components as well as the link component. So I'm going to copy both this import statement and specify that in the footer, something like this. Just out of that, let me close this header. Just out of this division tag right down here, I'm going to add a paragraph and then I'm going to specify some text here. And then to this paragraph, I'm going to specify class names. So I'm going to say here class names, padding y5 and text gray 400. Out of this paragraph, I'm going to create another paragraph and then I'm going to add here terms and condition. Let me just specify here class names. So I'm going to specify text gray 400 and text is going to be center. Let me just save the changes When I scroll down. You can see I'm going to have my footer just out of that what we need. We need to add this background image and this subscribe newsletter section inside this footer. To add that, I'm going to create a new component inside this child. Right here, I'm going to create a new component and I'm going to name that component newsletter.js. And inside this newsletter.js file, let me create a newsletter function first. So I'm going to say here export default function, which is going to be newsletter. And just out of that, here I'm going to return JSX. Here I'm going to call the section tag and then I'm going to specify some classes to it. So we first specify BG gray 50, then specify margin top 20. And inside this section right here, we create a div, specify some classes to it. So we first specify container, MX auto, MD, padding X 20 and padding Y 16. As well as I'm going to center all the text so we pass here text center inside this div here I'm going to add h1 heading tag and specify subscribe newsletter and then I'm going to specify some classes here so we first specify font bold then specify text 3 excel let me save the judges and show you the result first so let me just back to the footer at the top right here I'm going to say import newsletter from the child newsletter file let me just specify here newsletter copy it and paste that inside this footer at the top before this division tag right up here let me save the changes and here you can see subscribe newsletter title oops i think i misspelled here so let me just back to the newsletter and i'm going to specify here newsletter just out of that out of this h1 heading tag right down here let me create here a div and to this div, we specify some classes. So I'm going to specify here class name, padding y4 and inside this div, I'm going to add input text box. So we pass here input of the type text box and then add some classes. So here I'm going to say shadow, then I'm going to specify border to it. So I'm going to say border, then add rounded class, 
width is going to be 9 by 12 means it is equal to 75 percent padding y is going to be 3 and padding x is going to be 3 and i'm going to specify here text gray 700 then i'm going to specify focus outline none and then i'm also going to remove the shadow so we pass here focus shadow outline let me save the changes and here you can see i'm going to have this text box let me just specify placeholder to it so we pass here placeholder which is going to be enter your email let me save this here we have the placeholder just out of that just out of this input text box just out of this div right down here i'm going to add a button and specify here some classes before i add and specify classes let me just specify here subscribe text and inside this class name i'm going to say bg orange 400 so we first specify the background color then add padding x 20 then i'm going to add padding y 3 around it is going to be full and text gray 50 along with that i'm going to say text excel let me save the changes here you can see i'm going to have my subscribe button now just for that i want to specify background image to this footer just like this so what i'm going to do is inside this footer right here i'm going to create an object and i'm going to say constant bg is equal to and then specify an object here so inside this object i'm going to first specify background image and to this object i'm going to specify css properties so i'm going to say here background image is going to be in the double quote url in the single quote i'm going to say forward slash images and footer dot png i'm going to specify the file path right inside this background image css property just out of that i'm going to say background repeat is going to be no repeat out of that we specify background position which is going to be bottom left just out of that to this footer i'm going to specify style and then specify this variable which is bg this one save this here you can see i'm going to have my background image to this footer you can notice now the home page is successfully created next i'm going to show you how i can make the blog page 